kick things off in the heavyweight tournament. It is Mighty Mo taking on Sokaju, two cult favorites. Let's send it backstage to the Schmo. Thanks, guys. We have Sokaju joining the Schmo right here, getting ready to kick off this pay per view. Walk me through the feelings right now. Just excited to be here. Why'd you choose all red? I love red. I like to kill. So it's a kill, it's a kill collar. Get ready to see this man kill as he makes his entrance to the pit. Jazz, take it away. Ladies and gentlemen, our first fight is in the Valor Pair Knuckle Heavyweight Tournament. It is a semifinal. Please welcome to the pit, Sokaju. from judo, can they even be applied in the pit here tonight? Absolutely, I mean, the, the hip work of wrestling, the hip work of judo, I mean, if you've got good hips and you understand that your power is derived from the ground up, which he does, that translates into punching, it, it most certainly does. The Schmo back here being joined by Mighty Mo, where you grew up, it was street fighting. Tonight, you get to do it inside the pit. How are you looking to start off this fight? Staying active. Staying active. Let's go out there and show the crowd what you're made of. Guys, Jazz, back to you. And now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome his opponent to the pit. Here is Mighty Mo Salinga. Mighty Mo, one of the most devastating punchers, perhaps in combat sports history. 48 years old from San Bernardino, California, but he says that after a lifestyle change about two years ago, he feels younger than ever. He feels like a revived athlete entering the pit tonight. Yeah, started eating a lot better. And look, the guy has been through numerous wars. Again, as Corey said in the opening, you can look on YouTube for montages of him just wrecking, wrecking world-class fighters. Two-time K1 champion. And uh, this guy this guy is not nervous at all to be in here. This is, this is like a walk in the park for him. He's done this a thousand times. And he says, to tell you the truth, I don't even think about my age or my opponents. I think I'm a young guy. I feel like a young guy. 
To be honest, it's kind of unusual to think of this man as a 48-year-old fighter. Right. Well, and at the same time, you got to remember, George Foreman, what was his age when he came back? He won the 45, 45 years old. Yep. So, look, power is the last thing to leave, and these are heavyweights again, and this is bare knuckle fighting. So, the power, the heavyweights, and being old does not matter. Mighty Mo, so much combat experience. Over 40 pro kickboxing matches. 12 and 6 in the world of MMA. Nine of those 12 wins in MMA came by way of knockout. And that's with four ounce gloves. You take them off, and Mighty Mo, once again, is a dangerous proposition for whoever's across the pit. Yeah, I mean, he's, and, and to be as dominant as he was in both MMA and kickboxing, look, that's very rare. Take a look at the tail of the tape. We reference the age of both fighters. Mighty Mo just slightly taller than Sokaju, but also weighed in just a pound under the Valor heavyweight limit at 264. So a very big man, but Sokaju, he's going to have to use his reach at 78 inches and work his jab. We take a look at the rules. It is a three judges who will be scoring this one. A 10 point must system, no standing eight count. Only the referee or doctor can stop the fight. After two rounds, the contest becomes official. So if a foul occurs before round two, we're going to head to the scorecards. Well, let's get this one started. Let's send it up into the pit to Jazz. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Four Bears Casino here in Newtown, North Dakota. We are live via pay-per-view. We'd like to welcome all of the fans watching around the world. This is Valor Bear Knuckle. Right now we have a fight. Three rounds in the Valor Bare Knuckle Heavyweight Tournament. This is a semifinal. The winner will fight for the Heavyweight Championship. Your judges, Terry Red Fox, Ben Boucher, and Wayne Fox. And now introducing, fighting out of the blue zone of the pit tonight. He wears white. He weighed in at 231 pounds. He has 37 fights to his professional career. K-1 veteran, Bellator veteran, UFC veteran, fighting out of Temecula, California, making his Valor bare knuckle debut. Introducing the African assassin, Sokaju. And now, his opponent across the pit, fighting out of the red zone tonight. He wears black. He weighed in at an even 264 pounds, over 50 professional fights in his tenure. K-1 veteran, Bellator veteran, UFC veteran, fighting out of San Bernardino, California, making his Valor bare knuckle debut, presenting Mighty Mo Salinga. When the action begins, your referee is Bobby Wambacher. All right, gentlemen, we've been through the rules in the back. I expect a good, clean fight. Obey my commands at all times. Protect yourself at all times. Touch him up if you want. Scoot back for me. Scoot back. Richard, are you ready? So could you, are you ready? Mo, are you ready? Let's get after it. Round one begins, three three-minute rounds for a spot in the finals. And a shot at the Valor Bare Knuckle heavyweight oh, title. Can't go up there, so could you trying here. to get in and out, trying to get in and out. Bobby Wambacher done a lot of MMA referee in here tonight, refing for us. So could you try to find out how much distance he has to work with here in the pit? Better keep that left hand up. No clinch. Fight! Good job by the ref, separating them right away. Oh, buddy. There's Massive a power. Hook from Mighty Mo. There's so the power. Sokaju eats it. Sokaju got to move that head, buddy. Oh, stop, stop, stop. Just keep it in the fighting area. Sokaju looked at his hand. Is he hurt already? Sokaju. There's the speed, right? That good speed from Sokaju. Sokaju, though, cut over the right eye. Yeah, that left hook. I'd have that right hand glued to my head if I was out there with Mighty Mo. That, that left hook is scary. Good. 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 Good.
lead That's hand. Right, yeah, using feints and fakes, very important against somebody like Mo. Got to stay out of the way. Got to, got to try and make it bite on feints and fakes. Get him out of position so you can clip it. Soka Ju using a little judo there. Woof. Mo missed over the top, so does Soka Ju. That one came from Tennessee, buddy. Oh, he's, he's Mo saying he got, he got poked in the eye. That will be a little, a little bit of a learning curve, I think, for all fighters here tonight, making sure you keep that fist closed. You can't have it half open maybe in the same way you would. With well, the as long as you're not pointing your fingers at your opponent, I mean, in this style of fighting, as in boxing or MMA, I mean, I think it's, oh, real hard shots there, Stop. short clipping shots. It's important to keep your hands open because there's more surface area to parry with, more area to protect with with your hands open. So, you know, generally closing them when you strike is probably the best time, to, the only time you're gonna wanna close them right. fully, just so you're not tense the whole time either. Oh, there's that left hook. He fainted the jab and came with it. That's experience right there. That one just missed the point of the chin. But those two shots alone are likely more than enough to win the round for Mighty Mo. 20 right. seconds remaining in round one. Right, and remember, those are like cinder blocks hitting Sokaju in the head. Have you had a cinder block hit you in the head before, Corey? Well, I wouldn't be it's here if pleasant. that was the case, yeah. <laughs> Final 10 seconds of the opening round. Good uppercut lands from Mo on the inside. Sokaju tries to fire back. Good action to kick things off. Really good round by both guys. So could you using his grappling to off balance Mo at times and try and get angles. He knows he's not the bigger man. He's got to be the quicker man. He's got to get those angles. And Mo using good feints and fakes. So let's let's take a look at the action in the first round. The left hook coming from Mighty Mo opening that cut over Sokaju's right eye. And you can see Mo feints that jab and then brings it across. Lance, but that's all it takes from a guy like Mighty Mo to split your skin open. Faints and fakes, they pay off. I think that replay is Step very telling out. too. You know, we called Step that as a, a as a thudding left Step hook. Really, it was just a glancing shot, but it doesn't take much it with did, bare knuckles. We, 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 it didn't bite. It didn't bite. It grazed, right? Let's go back, Mo. Let's go back, Circle Jew. Richard, are you ready? Jump to Julie, you ready? Mo, are you ready? Let's get after it. Round two underway, scheduled for three. Let's see how they adapt. Solid opening round for Mighty Mo. Opened up a cut on the face of Sokaju, landed a pair of good left hooks. Sokaju. Oof. Ooh, Mighty Mo went for it all there. There, he fainted again. Whoa. Nice work. He fainted the right hand, came with the left, clipped it. Ready? Fight. Not counted as a knockdown. Yeah, outside of the fighting surface, it will be up to the ref's discretion whether they were knocked down or whether they fell because of where they were footing wise up on this ramp surface. Well, he definitely got hit. So, I mean, it, it, I wouldn't have argued had Bobby called that a knockdown, but Let's remember work, the. Uh, the fatigue factor of getting back up off the mat, getting knocked down, and have to hoist yourself back to your feet. Nice speed there. Ooh, good left hook lands from Sokaju, but and, I think he got caught in that exchange. Well, and I can tell you from behind, Mighty Mo didn't his body, his head, his neck, nothing shook from that punch. Tells you how solid you he is. Stand. You gotta stand. Fight! Sokaju may be looking a little frustrated with the spacing issues here. Nice counter. Nice counter. He disappeared on Mo, and now he's doing it again. Good head movement. Sokaju may be using that frustration to stand and trade, and he's getting the best he's of these be, exchanges. He's got to be careful getting overconfident inside, though, with Mo. Oh, big right hand. Mo coming back, having a good round. Or uh, Sokaju, sorry. Mighty Mo needs oh. another right hand and an uppercut. He might be staggered. He knocked him off balance. He's some bad boys, man. This is good stuff. Oh, he a got jab it. wobbles. Mighty Mo, that's, and down he goes. That's Go bare knuckle fighting. A jab can put you down. Four, Beautiful technique. Five, six, 
Less than a Seven. minute for Mighty Mo to get Ten. out of this round. Good. But Sokaju Good. has Walk turned through. this fight upside down. Five. He's figured out he needs just to make him miss. Just like that. There it is. Beautiful job. Make him bite. There it is again. Most fatigued. Stop! Stop! You gotta stay in the pit, guys. Let's go back. Fight! Warning for Mighty Mo to stay in the pit. Mo running out of space with Sokaju applying pressure. Tell you what, Sokaju's boxing looks pretty dang good, buddy, for a judo man. He always had power, but he's, he's gotten much better with his boxing skills. Mo landing those jabs now, though, too. Final 10 seconds of round two. A giant momentum shift in this opening contest. Stop! Fight! Fight! Stop! What a round. What a round. Mo going back to his corner. He's huffing and puffing a little bit. Boy, Pat, you look at these guys' faces. These alternates might want to get ready. Well, that's the thing I said. I mean, it's these are these are real, real big men that hit very hard. We don't know how these guys are going to fare coming out of this, even the winner. So yes, if I'm an alternate, I'm definitely I'm definitely warming up and getting ready to jump in. Let's take a look at the knockdown here. Pokes him coming in. Look, it doubles the force. If you can catch him coming in on their attack and clip him, this is what happens. Watch him sharp shoot him right on the chin here, boom. Hit the button and put him down. Great accuracy, and that's important, keeping the hands healthy. You saw there, something Second as simple time. as just doubling that jack. He knocks time. the first one away, but come back with another. Uh, Sokaju is fighting Sokaju. smart. In and out, using back angles, me. head movement. Scoot back. Go all the way back for me. I've got it even right now. Mighty Mo won the first round. Sokaju second. Richard, are you ready? This third round will decide you, it in my ready? mind. Mo, are you ready? Let's get after it. Third and final round. Everything on the line here. A berth in the finals and a shot at the Valor Bare Knuckle Championship. And I, you know, I'm impressed with Sokaju's head movement. Look at the feints of fakes. Beautiful left hook. Oh! oh! Down goes Sokaju. There was the right hand. Oh, that's all it takes from a guy like Mighty Mo, baby. Big Six. power. So could you up you at going? nine. Walk to me. He says Walk he can me. continue. Oh, buddy. He Ready? has an eternity to last here in the third. Got to move that head now. And he needs a knockdown himself. Mighty Mo Get looking for the stop. home run. Left hook lands from Mighty Mo. So could you's feet are not moving anymore. Oh, he moved, got out of the way of that just in time. Big power coming. Get him. Oh. So could you on fair oh. and steady legs. A left hook no, drops no, it. No, it's not a knockdown. Get out. Uh, get Bobby, Bobby Wambacher's not calling get that a knockdown. That, I, I got to say you that was a knockdown. Continue. That's about as solid as it gets. He's on the surface. It's not a knockdown. Come on. Ted. Get out, Mo. I mean, that's a very so debatable you, call, Pat. His feet were still in the fighting surface when he got hit. Right, right. That'll do yeah. it. That was a, that was a clean. Not, that's the end of the fight. That was a that was a clean left hook. I mean, that was, you know, Bobby's in the middle of it. He's got blood flying all over. Yeah, it's understandable. Um, you know, we can sit in the we can sit in the front row here and, and see maybe Take a little clearer from our tracks. angle, but it was solid. So could you almost pulling it off? As far as the way he was looking in the second round, Corey, moving great, in and out, cutting the angles, landing his landing his shots. Mo looking fatigued. Mo comes out in the third round and lowers the boom. Well, that's why we call power like that the eraser. Everything <laughs> looked like it was going Sokaju's way. It looked like Mighty Mo was maybe fatigued, maybe had lost control of this fight. When you have a right hand like that, it can change everything. Yeah, that left hook will erase your memory like a bottling Jägermeister. <laughs> That I've experienced. Cinder block, no. Bodily <laughs> egg, yes. All right, all right. We won't let you elaborate on that, though. <laughs> That's a fireside chat conversation. So Mighty Mo advancing to the heavyweight finals, and you know now we have to think about the work his cut man, his corner. They have to do. They have to get him tidied up and ready if he wants to fight in the finals. Right. 
Yeah, they've got to get, get him clean up. Let's look at the knockdown. That's when Sokaju was looking really good and just got clip coming in is what we talked about. Don't get overconfident with a guy like Mighty Mo. He hits too hard to do that. There's the right hand that glanced him, but the jab definitely started him down. Really stuck him with that. And here we go, here's the end. Mo is on the move, walking forward. That was a solid left hook, buddy. I think that Bobby Wambacher probably thought that he tripped over the edge of the mat, but you know, let's take a look at it again. Watch how solid this punch hits. Rips him off his feet, basically. Boom. Well, a tremendous performance from Mighty Mo. A dramatic way to start our pay-per-view. Let's make this one official. Let's send it up to Jazz. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Bobby Wambacher has stopped this fight at one minute and 26 rec seconds of round number three. Your winner by TKO, Mighty Mo Salinga! Well, Sokaju started to make his mark in the second round, but Mighty Mo pulled out the eraser in the third, and he advances to the heavyweight finals. Let's hear from him. He's in the pit with Pat. All right, I'm up here with Mighty Mo. Mighty Mo, I tell you what, First round came out looking good. We knew you had immense power. Uh, how, how were you feeling after that first round? Uh, man, you know, just like everything else, man, you got you to learn how to ride the bike again. Yeah. Well, now, I, coming out in the second round, Sokaju looked like he had figured out that he, he needed to be in and out a lot more. He needed to move his head a lot more, and he was doing a very good job. We scored it as him winning the second round, and you had the first. So going into the third, what were your thoughts? Uh, gotta put him away. You know what I mean? Put him away. <laughs> now that that last shot when you finished him, uh, Bobby Wambacher didn't rule it. You're dripping blood on me, bro. It's okay though. You earned it. But I tell you what, you hit him solid with that last left hook. Your left hook is what really won the fight for you. Uh, man, yeah, man. You know, you, you bring, you come to the table, man. You gotta bring, you gotta bring some, 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 some big food. Right. Uh, here's some good stuff. And I'm going to represent. Incredible. In, incredible performance, Mighty Mo. Thank you.